Yeah, the slip's going to show a workaround for loosened holes in your steel after you stretch the steel and it's a common problem that we're having with CAD work right now. First thing we're going to do is draw in a bite flange, an 8 by 18, 6 foot long. This will give us a baseline for us to put some holes in. Now, once we've got this drawn, I'm going to go in and draw a circle on the inside face here. And instead of using an extrude and subtract command on the cat, I want to make this out of Okay, so we're going to select just a piece of three, three inch thick plate, go negative with my distance so it passes through this field. Now we're going to cope it. So we'll go and select both pieces that we want and weld it for an option that's going to generate the hole in that piece of steel. Now we're going to move that piece of plate to a layer I've created called frozen steel. That layer is turned off. The good thing about that is even though it's turned off, the object's still active. So when I stretch the member, I guess retain that hole in my steel. Now, let me show you what happens if we just use a circle and the AutoCAD extrude and subtract commands. So we'll extrude the piece out, we'll go in and do a subtract and straight AutoCAD. And this works and it generates the hole. The problem is that if you have to change the length of that steel member, that hole is going to go away. Using the code feature allows us to take advantage of a, of a feature in Steel Pro and Plant Pro called AutoCode. That means that the two members are going to stay coat 